for those who noticed I did today I did this one yesterday twice the first time it mucked up something fierce I have no idea what the hell happened there and you may notice that my voice is kind of yuck today I've been coughing because I was choking on a piece of egg for breakfast the more you know uh, <coughs> Yeah, so this is the third time I've done this. The second time, I forgot to plug in my mic and missed everything. So, yeah. Jade, be the other girl. You are now the other girl several hours in the future. It appears a secret passage in the mausoleum has been opened. It's getting awfully toasty in here. You gather up your belongings, including your dead cat. Rose, descend. Now, of course, my computer decides to go slow. <sighs> Jade, stop being the other girl and pester John again. You spend enough time for now concerning yourself with the future of your friends. John will not be available until later. By then, he will have his hands full, as will you. <laughs> the equipment you have in your room just lying around Jade you pack up your lunch top and get ready to take care of some business downstairs Jade descend and if you can hear that engine that is my neighbors across the street doing something with their Mercedes I have no idea what All I know is that they are rubbing their engines on their hands out there. Just in case you can hear it. And I still think this is very pretty. <laughs> and he's going very slow. I'm not going to be able to do as much as I did today as I did yesterday, unfortunately. Ugh. Wow, this is not working. I don't want to pause it because I think that's what stuffed it last time. I don't want to stop it because I am just so fed up of reading over and over and over this part. Ah, there we are. Hello, Jane. Throws you might, you can't stop your mind from drifting to the fate of your friends. You dwell on a particular particular configuration and reminders on your finger. Drive. is getting his ass kicked. <laughs> also in the future well okay also in the future mm, come down. Oh. <laughs> so cute but years not hours and the bare white branches a sentry wakens it's p.m. No, 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 no. <laughs> she don't really like that very much. Oh, I forgot about this. Ah. Z001. Some stuff about capture codes and punch card alchemy. Is anyone actually reading any of this? Or are they all dead? Well, I don't know if anyone besides us is even alive and playing the game, or if anybody re even really cares what we have to say. Ray said I should add some stuff to this fact if anything occurred to me. So I guess I'm doing that? Well, I figure at the very least it will be a good reference for just us to use. 
But Dave probably won't read any of this because he's sort of this huge whopping stupid horse butt. Whatever. I finally figured out what those weird codes on the back of capture log cards are for. Well, maybe not what they're always for, but a way that Sperb has exploited them for an in-game purpose. Every captured item stamps the card with a unique code, and it gives Mo and Sperb called this punch design X will punch a unique pattern of holes in the card which is derived from that code. The punch card can then be used with other gizmos to duplicate the item and slash or combine it with another item. I got to thinking about this and with my amazing hacker skills I noticed a trend. The whole pattern is based on a fairly simple cipher, converting the capture code to a binary and then the binary pattern is punched, where 1 is punched whole and 0 is an unpunched slot. So um, here's the table just to be clear. I am not reading that because that will take forever. There are a couple of ball characters, exclamation mark and question mark at the end to bring it up to 63. 0 through 63 equals 64 total, i.e. 6 bits. Because the binary representation of the capture code characters are 6 bits each, which have a range of 0 to 63. So, for instance, the capture code for the hammer is N, Z, 7, U, N, 6, B, I. Look up the index for N first, which is 49. The binary of 49 is 110001. Keep doing that for all the card the characters and you get that. Again, not reading really that, it'll take forever. Okay, that's a pattern that will be punched on the card, but... The bits are arranged top to bottom, left to right, in four columns like this. Or punched on a card like this. Nice, John. Nice. <laughs> well, okay, that pretty much looks like shit, but you get the idea. So to combine two items, you just overlap two punch cards. Only the places where both cards have a hole will show through, so it's sort of like a bitwise end operation on both cards. The new pattern gives you the code for the new item. For instance, combining the code for a hammer, NZ7UN6BI, and a pogo ride, DQMMJLEK, gives a new code with less holes, obviously, which translates to 126GH48G. That whole pattern went on to make the pogo hammer, which is so rad you have no idea. I've also wondered if you could combine items in other ways, like a bitwise OR. That means combining the cards to get more holes, not less. I.e. the new pattern has a new hole for every hole on either card. This pattern would be accomplished by double punching a card. Like two codes, one card. I've got to try that sometime. But there are some mysterious things about all this. First of all, with all the hole slots, there are 48 bits in total, which means there are t almost 300 trillion possible codes. 300 trillion sounds huge. But when you consider it is supposed to count for all conceivable items, including all the wacky combinations and stuff, it certainly doesn't seem that big. This leads me to believe that not every combination of item has a viable duplicate. But this is kind of obvious anyway, since there are many combinations of punch cards that will produce either a blank card with end or a totally punch card with or. So there are lots of dud combinations out there. I mean that will just leave the same pattern, like for instance, a gun and an atom bomb could make some sort of ultimate death ray, but for that matter a shoehorn and pump plant could leave the exact same pattern. So weird. For so it seems like combined items will always have patterns with either much fewer holes or much more holes than more ordinary items which will occupy the vast meaty middle of all possible patterns. It is strange and counterintuitive that more complex objects have simpler patterns, but hey, there you have it. But all this sort of makes me guess the system can be cracked in some way. Like, if you have a complicated item and you want to extract simpler item components from it, there might be some algorithm for deriving the pattern you want, or at least narrowing down the possibilities. There might also be ways of charting through the simpler patterns on both ends of the bit spectrum, uh, spectrum huh, and pinning down the ones that will make cool stuff. Who knows? I want to ask Jade about this because she's really good at this sort of thing. Somehow, even though she doesn't have my elite hacks of cred. Too bad she makes herself so scarce all the time. Jade, if you ever read this, let me know what you think. Goosey, and that's a card to calculate the patterns of punch cards. SN Skynet. You enter the laboratory. Rose, look for mad scientists. There are no scientists to be found, mad or otherwise, or anyone for that matter. The lab appears to be deserted. There is a kiosk, though.
<laughs> and everything's chest <laughs> except with its cards except with its buoys it looks like the kiosk monitors the lab's enormous upgrade jade transport the lights as far down as you can go whoa that's well shark head <laughs> This is as far down as you can go. The Grand Foyer is still a few floors down, but the transportalizer on that level is blocked by one of Grandpa's impressive big game trophies, and you just don't think he would cotton to someone moving it. Speaking of which, here are some of his trophies now. He has a million of these ghastly things. You really dislike them. Jade, proceed. Orange? Red? No, that's orange, I think. That's orange. Night. Makes sense if it was red because of Dave. <laughs> and Car Cat for that matter. <laughs> you hop down level. Granddad also likes to accumulate valiant knights from his travels. These are pretty cool, you guess. I still think that's orange. Jay, keep going. Whoa, that's pink. That's bright pink. These are the other colours. <laughs> oh yeah, how could you forget about this stash of decrepit mummies? God, you hate these things. Oh my god, it makes so much sense. <laughs> Jay, don't stop. Light blue is cyan, I think it is. <laughs> well, now I'm gone further than I have yesterday. <gasps> This is your grandfather's collection of what he refers to as his beauties. No lovely lady will be fit for his collection unless her portrait has spent at least 20 years bleaching in front of in the front window of a beauty parlor, a sort of establishment he's planned to know no less frequently than ancient tombs. You guess they were sort of like your sisters while growing up, and you were always encouraged to look up to them. They are awfully pretty ladies, you suppose, but it was always hard to get as excited about them as Grandpa. I wonder why, Jade. <laughs> Jade, study hard and keep your rifle at the ready. When adventure summons, I will. I know you will rise to the task and take your rightful place among the daughters of Eclectica. That old coot sure is a bag of wind. Jade, complete your descent. That's Typhius. That is John Stanison. And it makes complete sense in retrospect. <laughs> You reach the ground level. This is a stupid thing blocking the transportalizer. It is unspeakably hideous. Down the southeast hall is the grand foyer. You'll have to cross it through it to leave the house. Blah. Look like someone's pestering you, even though you thought you logged off. Jade, answer. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not have voices for the trolls in Casino oh. <coughs> Genesis CG began trolling Gardenostic GG at 1304. And I have no idea the <laughs> oh. <coughs> I get idiot. Oh no So I guess today is finally the day you fuck everything up. <gasps> is there nothing I can do to change your mind? You can leave me alone! How can you even be talking to me after I blocked you? And after I logged out? You don't get that I am better and smarter than you in every way forever. You don't get that because you are incredibly stupid. I get that you're a jerk and you should shut up! Goodbye, you jerk! Gnostic bl GG blocked Carcinogenesis CG at 13.06. Rose, look at that kiosk. Looks like a mapping of each hub's index. It appears one of the hubs was recently unlocked. Rose, go to the center and do a goofy dance. And I'm going to stop here. Bye. Whoa.